Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jimmy. I'm with Tropicana Golf and today we have a very special episode with a very special guest. As you can see, I'm wearing my brand new green Buffalo Bills hat. Go Bills, right? Go Bills. I'm in California and they're in New York, but it makes sense. I'm going to tell you where I got this hat. I'm going to tell you what it means. It's all coming up right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest today, Mr. Lars Lewis of Buffalo, New York. Hello, Lars. Good to see you, Jimmy. Always my pleasure to see you. Thank you for my rope Buffalo Bills hat. You have one as well. We're like Buffalo Brothers. That's right. Is that weird? Fellow members of the Bills Mafia. Bills Mafia. Go Bills. Lars is an assistant pro at Dove Canyon here in Southern California. He's a very good golfer. And he filmed me earlier in the round today. And I saw something that was disturbing, let's call it. Sometimes when you have somebody else film it, you see things differently. And I'm doing something that's called casting. Now, simply casting means like a casting a fishing rod. You're going this way. So at the top of my swing, I would get here. And instead of turning through the ball and holding this angle, I'm releasing this angle a bit which causes me to scoop at impact. A lot of people, you see them, they have this reverse look. Instead of hands forward, they have club head forward behind, or the club head is in front of your hands, and you want your hands in front of the club. Absolutely. Okay, so simply, what does that mean? What, why, why am I casting from the top of my, in fact, before we do this, Let's play the video. I'm going to play a video right now so you can see what it looks like. So. Okay. So you see that from the top, I get here and I cast. And then from here, it's more of a scooping method instead of a impact with my hands out in front. So in your opinion, what's happening from the top? Why am I going this way? So a lot of players, I mean, it, it happens to even lower handicap guys like yourself right. as well. A couple of things that could be at play here. For a lot of amateur players, a lot of the higher handicaps, when they, may I see the club? So what they do is that once they bring the club back, they think from this position, this is where they should swing, like right here. Okay. So now what happens is that when they swing, they're trying to swing so hard that they throw it out because okay. they're using their arms to try to sling through the ball. Right. Now, what also happens when you do this, they, they stand up stand, early instead of going through. Okay. So that causes a multitude of issues. So maybe staying lower through the downswing. So instead of coming up this way, this causes you to go this way. So maybe just having a slight flex in here and then here standing up exactly okay so i'm going to work on more staying down into the shot kind of athletic position a little longer and then at impact kind of get through it right okay. and there's one player in particular now obviously you've mentioned lee trevino in yes. a lot of your videos yes. he is a master right at staying through the ball so there's one tip i can give you if you're having difficulty with casting I want you to think of your back elbow. Now, what happens is when you cast, that elbow never gets back to your body. So when you swing, I want you to feel that when you're coming down, your right elbow hits. It just drops right down like that. You get the top, drop it right in the ribs. So now what's going to happen is now you've got your hands in the right position and you can drive through the ball. Okay. So I want you to focus on one, or two things. Number one, keeping your chest, staying low through the ball. And number two, get at the top of the swing, right elbow, bang, yeah. right in the ribs. Okay, so it would look like this from here. And then as soon as I get here, I'm just coming right back. Yeah, down so now here. look look what's happening. You're slotting the club. Right. Now so you can it's go It's just this, this motion right here. Yep. Okay, 
So I'm going to get to the top and I'm going to kind of just bring my elbow towards my Towards rib. your hip. That feels a little different. A lot different actually. Because I usually get right here and mm -hmm. then that's the problem. Yep, because now your elbow has separated and it causes your hands to separate. Right, okay. So this keeps your hands on line. So you want to feel maybe even this connection. Mm hmm. Making this V. Ben so, Hogan was a big proponent of keeping the V. So keep the V, and so am I. I, I, I do that when I hit, you know, short shots. I, I try to swing this V and keep my hands almost like I'm holding something right here. Yep, and that's why your chipping is so good. Yeah, because I do that. I think when it gets a little longer, I disconnect here, and now I can't get it back together. Yeah, because you're trying, you're trying to hit the ball hard. So I'm going to focus on really putting these two arms together. Yes. Okay, I'm going to hit one from down the line and then head on here. So I have a little seven iron here. Get here. Really squeeze my forearms together. That had a lot more power, like a lot more. Like that ball just jumped. It went left because number one, I'm doing something different, but also I feel like I have a lot more intensity coming through the ball. And look at that divot. That divot right there, that is punctured. It's perfect. It's, mm, okay. it's right through. So let me try something else. So that ball went a little left. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the ball back just a little bit. I'm going to change the camera angle here so they can see it from this head-on view right here. And the one thing you've noticed is that your divot pattern was following the flight of the ball. So when you're doing this new motion with this elbow, yeah. you slot this. If you haven't done it before, it's going to cause you a tendency to pull the ball a little because okay. you're doing the opposite of the casting, which most balls will go to the right. Sure. So it's going to take a small adjustment, but as you notice, that ball was hit. Yeah, solid. it was hit hard. It was crunched. It was. It was hit. It was um, compressed perfectly. So now I'm going to instead of following it this way, I'm just going to kind of more release down down mm -hmm. my line. Yep. You want to go a little more towards the right side. Okay. And just really keep my hands, forearms together. There it is. That's a better ball. That's a better ball. It still hit hard. Now it's on the right side. Okay, so let's play one more and let's play the hole now. So I have one left and I have one right. Now I have to, and like anything, when you're trying something new or a new feel, of course there's gonna be some time of getting, getting used to it. But right. I think three shots in, I, I'm gonna be okay. Right, so now for this shot, since you've had one that's slightly pulled yeah. and one that was slightly pushed, I want your aiming point towards the edges of that bunker or even that, that, palm, that left palm tree. Okay. And I want, here's how you position yourself. So go ahead and tee it. Okay. Now, if, if may I do the club? So then if I'm thinking, if, I, if I'm hitting a draw, I want to feel, I'm going to get behind this ball and I'm actually going to look and just make sure that I have my feet slightly closed. Yep. And I and I know that the that the club head is going towards that target of that palm tree. Okay. So slightly closed stance. Slightly closed. And just aim your club, club head, head right at the tree, and just dive okay. on through. So I'm going to hit a little draw here. Then. Yep. I'll close my stance, and I'm going to aim at that palm out there and I'm going to close my feet just a bit and keep my forearms yep, together. Yep, nice and tucked. That's a draw, and it's off target by, I don't know. A few yards, but few still, yards. Okay. it's hit solid. It is hit solid. All right, let's go down there. Let's, let's play all of them, you know, who cares? They're all still in play, and, and let's see what we can do. now. Like I said, whenever you start something new, of course, there's going to be some error right off the bat because it's a different feeling right. and I got to get used to it. But I do like, I mean, you can hear the difference in the impact of the ball. And I think it's just this right elbow for me, instead of going this way, I, I've kind of gone 
this way a little bit in, in the past. So I need to really get down in here. And I think I can achieve that by feeling that forearm togetherness, I guess you call it. Absolutely. Okay. So I got one here at 150 yards. So there's the ball. All right, I got 150 yards exactly. It's a downhill shot. I'm gonna hit a 50 degree wedge, 50 degree wedge. And put the camera here. Perfect, perfect, be perfect. Come on, Mars, yeah, I need it. you to. I got you. Thank you, there you go, you can see it. Okay, so here we go. The feeling is forearms together, boom. Hold the forearms together and just turn. And I wanna stay a little bit lower in my, in my stance. Just kinda of keep it flexed. Yeah, that's a good one. Fly over that. Okay, good, 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 great. Even. And the kick is good. Yeah, it's it's four feet off the green. Here's an extra ball, Lars. You're always looking for these, right? That might have been my tee shot for during the kids' it. game. Okay. Oh, that is my ball. Well, there you go. You were in play. <laughs> we had to go back and give you a skin. All right, let's go back to the other one. I see one sitting there. The other one might have scurried left, so we might not have a chance at that one. But this one is... Not bad. So that was two, three yards off the fairway, and this one is two or three yards off the fairway as well. So not terrible shots. And like I said, you know, it takes it takes some time to, to, to feel a new ritmo. And the one thing that you notice is that obviously a draw will go further than a fade. Sure, sure. And with the compression, that ball had another what, five or six yards? Yeah, I'm hitting a 50 degree from 50, from 150 yards. That that's quite the feat. So now I have a little bit less. I'm going to do the same thing. Stay a little bit more flexed, forearms together, and just feel like I'm not standing up. Yep. You don't want to stand up. You just you want to go through. Pulled it. Pulled it, but you smashed it. I didn't even see it. Well, hey. I see it. It's in front of the bunk. It came off the tree. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. But again, what was the contact was solid. Contact is solid. Ball's going a little left. So I think it might have to do with the fact that I'm used to, I'm used to a certain thing. You know, I'm used to a certain way of hitting the ball. And when you move it, maybe my alignment's off. Maybe everything's cockeyed because I'm not used to it, you know? Right, because you're used to hitting a fade right. for a lot of your right. shots. This right. sort of movement actually squares out the club and combined with your right hand that's coming through, you're drawing the ball more. Okay, well, here's that shot there. So now we have everybody's favorite shot. Why don't you take this and go to the green? You got it. Thank you. And this one, I'm going to do the exact same thing that I always do, which is swing the V, and that promotes keeping my forearms together anyway. So it's very similar to this. I'm just going to hit my 69 degree wedge up and swing the V. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my God, Lars. Oh dear. Hey, good news though. I get to hit it again. <laughs> Still my shot. Here we go. Bunker, 69 degree. Okay, I will take that. I'll scoop that up when we're done. Now, same thing over here. I have a very good lie. I'm going to swing the V. I'm gonna hit it a little bit on the right side. There we go. Three, two, one. Sit hard. Okay. That's great. Let's go to the next tee box. I'm going to hit some more shots there. Let's implement this and let's really get away from that casting. So I think the casting, what's happening, I'll take that. The casting is, uh, did you pick up that other ball? I got you. Okay. I think the casting is what is promoting my left to right ball flight. Yep. Because then it opens the face a little bit yes. and the club comes off as a push. Okay. So I have to kind of remember that, 
that these balls might be going right to left now instead of the other way, which is what I'm used to. And the important thing of this movement is it's for all golf clubs. That includes your fairway metals, that includes your hybrids, and obviously that also includes your driver. Sure. It's that same fundamental movement that allows you to hit the ball solid. Okay. Now, the only difference is that with the driver, you're hitting slightly up on the ball because it's on the tee. Right, right. Everything else should have that same motion. Okay. Well, I'm going to take four balls here, and we're going to hit four balls off the tee. I'm going to hit a seven iron because that's where the tee box is. You have that other ball? Yep. You want to take that? Thank you. Appreciate that. And I think I've always had an issue with casting. And it's always been this aggressive move from the top. Even though I might not feel like I'm swinging aggressively, I think it just happens, you know? I think that's just part of my DNA. And I would say for the sake of the viewers, we're gonna have it on a side angle that's so fine. they could see. That's fine. I just wanna feel shot. like my hands are in front of the ball at impact instead of this way. So I need to get here, forearms together. One more. I feel that compression. I feel my arms tight together. Oh, that's perfect. That might go in the hole, Lars. Okay. Four foot putt. Let's hit another one. Now look at, bring that over here. Check this out. So here was where I had the ball teed up. This is where my club hit the ground. Yeah, so you thinned it just a smidge. Yeah. Okay. But so, look at the divots past the ball. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So that's good. That means my hands were out in front and not the other way around. Exactly. Okay, well that's good. So let's try it again. So also to make, to make a very important point yeah. for all players as well, the fastest part of this golf swing should be after impact. Here. Yep, should be right after the ball's hit. Boom, and then. That's the speed. Okay, That's I feel perfect. that. perfect. I feel that. Okay. Oh man, that's hammered. Now that's the same, same club, and that thing went, that went 30 yards further, but it went left. It went left, okay. And also, we'll look at the divot pattern on this. That is what you're looking for. It's after the tee. It's nicely compressed. Okay. That's exactly what you want. So I need to kind of meet it in the middle somewhere. Mm-hmm. All right. I hit that well. I did hit it well. But for some reason, I'm closing the club face. So what I, my immediate fix when I'm, when I'm hitting it left is I move the ball back and I move my hands forward. I don't know if that's cheating or what, but it, it immediately cures everything. So I'll move it to my back foot and get my hands out in front of the ball and take my normal swing and watch what happens. See, that's perfect. Is that on? Yeah. Here, hit one more. That's perfectly on. Okay. So that's a good divot also, look at that. So I'm in a straight line with all three balls. Exactly. Perfect. So that means your face angle is, is right on line with what you need. Good. So I'm doing some things right here. Once again, ball back, hands forward, forearms together, boom, release. So in this one, I want you to move your body slightly to the right. So My shift right. your body to the right. This way? Yeah, move your feet too with it. You're just, yeah, you're just small adjusting, yeah. Because you're, you're aiming a little bit left. There you go. Oh, that's in the hole, Lars. Oh my God. Go in the hole. Go in. Go in. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Nasty! <laughs> Let's look at this again. That was the best shot. That was the best shot. That's a perfect pattern. And don't forget, don't forget, when you're done with your science project, clean up your mess. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna just drop it like it's hot. Three, 
two, one. Spread it out. Everybody's happy. Everything is good. Pat it down. Pick up the tea. Now we're not gonna go look at those, but Lars, I wanna thank you for helping me today because it's, it's not often that, where's the sun? Let's stand over here. It's not often that I get somebody to, to help me, you know, mm -hmm. and, and give me feedback on what I'm doing. So I appreciate that. Uh, thanks again for the Buffalo Bills hat. Anytime. Bills Mafia, guys. How do we feel about Bills Mafia? Like, am, am, I, am I in the club now? Do I have to jump through a table now? Absolutely not. You have the spirit, you have the enthusiasm, and you've been my friend for over three years. When I came out here, before I even moved out to Southern California, I came out here on vacation, I reached out to you, and I said, hey, is there a chance, could I come meet you at your barber shop because I'm a big fan of what you do and what you represent? You came by, I was a complete stranger. We spent four hours together inside that shop all night. And I'll tell you what, that was one of the best nights I've ever had in Southern California because I got to meet somebody very special. Let me rephrase that. It's one of the best nights you've ever had with your clothes on. <laughs> Lars. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> you're, the, you're the greatest, buddy. I appreciate you. This is Lars Lewis. You can find him on Instagram. He is a, 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 a teaching pro. So if you need assistance and you're in the area, hey, give him a shout. What is your Instagram? At Lars Lewis 12. At Lars Lewis 12. Does that have to do with the Bills 12? Uh, yeah, it's Jim Kelly from Jim back, Kelly. back in the old days. One of the greatest. Not Norwood, though. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. My name is Jimmy. This is Lars Lewis. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, always play more golf. Go Bills. Go Bills. <laughs> See you next time.